baseball fans, and welcome. Baseball comes your way on a Wednesday afternoon. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And on the mound in this one, Ryan Pepio. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. All right, ready to get underway. Here's the shortstop at the play, J.P. Crawford. That's outside, and we're underway. First pitch, 12 10. The 1 0. One ball, one strike. Yeah, that's too high. That one misses. Ball three. three Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swings and fouls one off. Pepio in his second season, 26 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2019. And that's in for a strike. One out, base is empty. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. pitch gets a piece and stays alive one down base is empty that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going and a ball and two strikes swing and a ball lifted to center field Siri makes the catch and there's two away and now we check out the Mariners lineup a guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus Ty France and Boog he's the table setter for this offense team leader and on base percentage I mean that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score man I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base easy to get those RBIs game after game you know a guy like this what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup Julio Rodriguez in the box now no balls and a strike two out spaces empty That's to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. runner at first Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners and there's the strike Rodriguez leads off first with two down to the inning swing and a miss slider right there well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. 
And a pitch. Guts it misses. It's a strikeout. One left for Seattle. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Tropicana Field and towing the slab in this one, George Kirby. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been when able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the ship. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. That one missed. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. That We're seeing good. more fastballs in that game. location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Isaac Paredes now. And first offering is fouled off. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two outs. Oh. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swung on, belted. Hanniger going back. And he brings it into the warning track. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go. And here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Pepio, back to work. And a good eye there. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Not even close there. Two and one. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer, when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Gets it to first, yep. one out in the second. That is it. The first base is And now the first baseman, Ty France. First pitch misses. Second inning here, no score. That one lifted to left. 
He's got it and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder that, coming that, that, open that. instead of staying right closed. Right if he it does is. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Mitch nope, Hanniger, the next to hit, takes ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Slides, but it gets by him. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second. He's in there. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. All he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And in scoring position with two away. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. And that one fouled off. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two out double made this inning interesting. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top of the second. In the air, left field, Palacios on the move. Makes the play, and it's out number three. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And the right hander back to work. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Rodriguez makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting. The designated hitter. Now it's Randy Rosarena. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently, batting over 300 so far this month. That one fouled off. The 0 1. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Squeezes it. And there are two outs. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Richie Palacios stands in now, looks at that one inside. In for a strike. And one and one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Oh. Now a check swing, but he held up. One. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And another ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. And they'll do it again. Kicks and fires. On its way to the corner, Robles towards the line. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul.
Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Throws to first. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now in Tampa Bay. Here's the second baseman, Brian Bliss. Ryan Bliss. The wind of the pitch. Blitz checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. And a foul ball. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And that's in the dirt. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Good no. eye in that spot. It's a good take. And that one in the air center field. Siri makes the grab one away. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. He's over one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Top of the third, no score. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. One one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's the third baseman, Dylan Moore. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Two outs. And another ball. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Righty to the plate. Three ball. Two strike. Struck him out. It is a three up, three down inning. Nobody left for Seattle, and we're still knotted at zero. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the center fielder, Jose Siri. But why to kick the pitch? On the corner for a strike. It's 0 1. there well that's kind of what you One expect ball. in an 0-2 count excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch outside low and the count is even two and two the pitch that one drilled left field now he turns and heads for second and he's in the scoring position with a leadoff double maybe a chance for our first run here Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Ben Workvet now at the plate. Oh. 
Fastball in for a strike. 0 and 1. The Rays with a chance to score first here in the last half of the third. That's in there, and it's nothing in two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And it's second. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Raleigh brings it in, one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They that look really good coming in, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. That one's in there. That's strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as the stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. At the belt and fires. Oh, and that one oh. a little below the knees. And the count one and two. <laughs> pitch fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again Siri leads off second with one gone in the inning and that's off the inside edge two and two wouldn't chase that time three and two Three and two. Payoff pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here comes a pitch. The punch out there. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Yandy Diaz now. Rounded out his first job. Yandy Diaz. And ball one. One ball, no straight. Fouled off down the right side. Man on second, two down. Huh. And the pitch is in for a strike. And a count one and two. And another ball. Comes a 2-2. And that's a strikeout looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Julio Rodriguez. And a pitch. That's a strike. One on one. Rodriguez measures six feet four inches, 230 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Good eye right there. Two ball, one strike. That one hammered left field. Way back there. That one is gone. So he goes yard to left. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off.
Mitch Garver up to hit here. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Just misses. Now one and two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Next That's offering high. upstairs. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two two. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A solo shot. His ninth homer of the year. It's two nothing. Back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. And that one fouled off. You won. Foul ball. Strike. Swing and a miss. <laughs> and he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So up next, Ty France. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, no appeal. One ball, one strike. Hard ground ball, base now. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Bat, really bat. good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now batting Mitch Hanniger, doubled in his first A.B. No, just missed. Ball. France over at first with one away. This one in the air right field. Low makes the grab and there's two gone. The left over the camp. Victor. Here's Victor Robles. Fly to left his first time. This one doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. And a swing and a miss there. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. On the ground. They get the force. Third out. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 2 0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. 
Back here at Tropicana Field, Lau at the plate. The second base. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown yeah. inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And the pitch. And a foul ball. The 0 1. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Puts it away for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. The Had bat pretty bat. good timing on the it. Just got bat. underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now, Isaac Paredes flied to right his first time. And there's the strike. Well, the offense has gotten Come going, on. and a pitcher strike. wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. One Not ball. close one with that one. Ball one. Ground off the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The bat, bat. The white field. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. One gone runner at first. Now at the plate, Josh Lowe. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second and he's out. You know, sometimes a throw that bounces into second base can be just as good as a perfect throw in the air. Almost a little bit easier to handle at second base. For me, that caught stealing right there was all about a really poor jump off first. Just didn't time it well, and he was toast after that. The Rays trailing by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Ball. And misses inside. inside. Ground ball to the right oh. side, and it goes just foul. Foul ball. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ryan Bliss. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Better just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. That's inside, and it's two and one. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering upstairs. Okay. Stays alive. That one hit to right. Low has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. One away. The bat at number three. JP Crawford JP. getting ready to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one is absolutely belted. Palacios, long run on his horse. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Crawford into second, and he's got a double. Now,
Stepping in, Dylan Moore. That Whoop. one's in there. Strike one. One out and a runner at second. And we're at the top of the fifth. Fly a ball to right. And there are two down. The center field, number 34, Julio. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He's already homered here in this one. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Sliced hard but foul. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Late with the swing there. There's one guy that I can think about, Bird, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mariners two, the Rays nothing. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Randy Arozarena. Kirby back to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. Could have a really good day out there in the mound. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings right. through it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Bounce to the left side. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You've got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Now up for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Now the Rosarena on the move. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. But with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Left hand batter waits. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. In the air to left center, Robles racing over to make the catch. Now back, the center fielder, Jose And now it's Jose Siri doubled his first time up. And a 
right hander deals and a foul ball left side. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. Well done behind the dish. I got to think that oh, was the plan all the way. Fair. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Taylor Walls. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Raised down by a run. Last half of inning number five. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Oh. Squirts away a little bit. And the runner holds. Fouls one away and now three and two. This guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Top of the sixth Mid inning. And now for Seattle, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. Mid -mid Garver. The right hander back to work. That ball. one misses. Ball one. One ball. No strike. Right. right through there for a strike. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Righty delivers. That one out to right. Makes the catch for the out. Now back. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. Whoa. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Oh, it's him. One down, base is empty. Pitch is in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. The first base is number two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. One for two. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for That's later in this at bat? The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Foul ball still a one and two count. And another ball. Oh. And that's outside. Yeah, and the full. count's full. This one smoked out to left. 
Palacios makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing across here this half. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mariners two, the Rays one. Well, we go bottom six, and here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz. And a pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. The 1 0. There's a swing and a miss. It really looks like these one hitters ball, have been strike. in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. In plenty of time to first, one away, bottom of the six. That's what a good seeker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now it's Brandon Lau. Just missed. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. Here's a 1 1. Now, John Pace here. Now, that's that. The third base here. Run around at first with one gone. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. On the ground, a short could be two. Crawford, one at second, oh. double play. Yeah. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jason Adam. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game, and now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Adam goes six feet, three inches. He features a changeup, a four-seamer, a slurb, and he works in a slider. Next offer in there for a strike. A two -no. Outside. a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Breaking ball, and that got him. Well, the bad news is that pitch wasn't close. The, the good news, they're set up to turn two and get out of the inning. Ryan. One down. Now it's the second baseman, Ryan Bliss. On the inside corner for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Activity in the bullpen, Sean Armstrong. Up and throwing. Davinsky also getting ready. Adam with a move to first. Robles dives back in. Robles leads off first with one away. That's ripped. Base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw in. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position. And just one out. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Golden opportunity right here. And 
And that's off the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Second and third, one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. And a count one and two. Two on, one out. And delivers outside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And the righty deals. This one popped up. Middle of the infield. He's got it two away down. No, that's a frustrating at bat right there. A big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy I'll have to pick him up. Now the number two hitter, Dylan Moore. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Down the line. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mariners two, the Rays one. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Josh Lowe. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Stanek appears to be getting loose. Salcedo, the lefty, warming up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. Line drive, caught! Man, oh man, that ball was absolutely smoked. Triple digit exit velocity dives. And I'm just shocked that the ball stayed in his mid. Looked like he was going to put a hole in his glove. Randy or Rosarena will hit next. Strike one. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. The pitch. Popped up. He's under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now back, left fielder, Ricky Palacios. Richie Palacios, next to hit for the Rays. Fouled off to the right. And that's in for a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. That's hard hit on the line. And that will end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. And our score remains 2-1. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Davinsky. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. 
Well, one run game. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. He's already homered in this game. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Here's your one. Hit on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. The designated hitter, Mitch Garver. And next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Just kind of slice that one into center. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. First pitch just misses. One ball. Okay. Right-handed reliever missed with a changeup, and it's 2-0. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play, but in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Next pitch is outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one fouled off. Garver, the base runner at first with one out. And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. First and second, one out. And now for Seattle, Ty France. One for three. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Two on, one out. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Line drive. And a base hit. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game over. So base is loaded with one away. Now the batter now, Mitch Hanniger. And that should be extra bases. One runs in. A second scores as well. Cut off. Now a throw home. In there safely. And they lead by four. Back to back base hits. A lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. The pitcher on here, Sean Armstrong. Number 50 coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. One out, runner at second. Victor Robles up next for the Mariners. On the corner for a strike. Oh, and one. And a pitch. One. And that's off the inside edge. One, one. one ball, one strike. One, two, three, Sean. 
Bounce to the right. Nice grab. To his knee, the throw. It's there, and that's a great play. But he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Ryan Bliss now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. Lined, and that's a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 6-1. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. On the ground to first. He takes it on his own. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. So four runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mariners six, the Rays one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Bryce Miller. Now, Should be a good first matchup yeah. for him here. He's Number been doing a great job against right-handed right right. bats so far Miller. this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. So digging in, Jose Siri. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Swings through that. Well, again, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump and defense shouldn't either hitting wise you can struggle you can lose your mechanics but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way and this is what this guy does one in ball. the dirt and the count is one and two goes down looking Here's the catcher to hit, Ben Workvet, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And there's the strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Mike Bauman appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Bizardo, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Oh, and two. He goes down looking. No batter number six. Two outs, bases empty. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. That one ripped. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And that's a two out double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feel. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So up next, Yandy Diaz. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. To the right side, France. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. The Rays strand just the one. They trail it 6 1. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the third baseman, Dylan Moore. Moore. Armstrong back to work. 
Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And here it comes. Check here swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he went around. That's ruled the swing. Three. And down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. The center field. And up next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Finds a corner. Going one. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Sweet. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. That one ripped left field. And gone. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 7-1. And with the six-run lead, there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known four line drives hits one over the fence well if you're a little too early you'll get some elevation in the ball get out of the ballpark for him it's kind of a mistake but you know what no, when you have such a good approach every now and then you're going to run into one at the belt and fires slice to right and it stays fair Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. First pitch misses. The right hater deals. Oh. And another ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Garver, the runner at second with one away. Right. Swings through that one. Two, two. Him looking, that's a strikeout. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. Yeah, that was his third strikeout, and this one looking uh, obviously. So right, he's right. been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 1. And it's second. That one at 95 missed up top. One and one. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Siri makes the grab. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 7-1. You're dialed into the show. All set for the and bottom of the ninth. The and stepping in for the, the Rays, is Brandon Lau. Brandon. Wow. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, and it's 0 1. one it might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Rip to short. 
on to France. Yeah. Now out on the play. Now that the third base. He's two outs away. Now here is Isaac Paredes. Strike one. Oh, and one. That's in there. No ball. He's great. Set down on strikes. Now only one out remaining. The right field. Right and three. next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Lowe. Oh. Fastball for a strike. Two down, nobody on. That's ball, down and in. He swings and fouls one off. This could end it. Fouls it off, still one and two. The Rays with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of inning number nine. That one not close. And the count's even at two. Liner, base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Well, patience and discipline oh, paid off right bad. there as he got into oh, an advantage count. Good. Showed a willingness Brand to drive new. that pitch the opposite oh, way. Oh, didn't oh, get right jumpy, off. didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing After for the ball. line drive base hit. A Rosarena stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The M's up big in this one. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Hit to right, and that should do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Mariners take this one in a blowout. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.